Now to growing warnings for American parents about an unprecedented surge in the respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. Yeah, it's sparking unusually severe symptoms in kids and babies nationwide and pushing hospitals to capacity. More states are warning people as major drug companies search for ways to protect kids. The surge has left 23 states, including Idaho, with pediatric bed occupancy rates above 75%. The RSV wave comes amid warnings of a viral winter surge of illness. Some experts predict a so-called triple-demic with hospitals overwhelmed by RSV, the flu, and COVID-19. The predictions of the triple-demic are sending drug makers into overdrive. This week, Pfizer announced trials of its maternal a vaccine given to pregnant women proved 80% effective in preventing severe RSV in newborns. The company is vowing to apply for FDA approval by the new year, but shots likely won't be available for months. And today, St. Luke's Hospital gave an update on what the RSV situation looks like right now here in Idaho. Here's what they had to say. Last week, I tried to uh, do my best to reassure everybody that things were okay and that we weren't seeing a large uptick in cases and that we are managing just fine. Thank you. Fast forward to this week and St. Luke's Children's System Medical Director Dr. Kenny Bramwell says things have changed. We are seeing a pretty sudden uptick in the number of patients with RSV who need to be admitted to the hospital. And he says it's an early season start to RSV, which typically doesn't start to infect kids until January. The challenge we're having across the country is that the numbers of infants and, and toddlers who are needing to be hospitalized is the problem. At Primary Health, pediatrician Angela Beauchene says they too have seen a huge increase in cases in the last week. You know, we're seeing little babies who've got it. Uh, we're seeing three-year-olds who have a history of asthma that come in just really wheezing and coughing a lot. And as a pediatrician who's done it for a long time, I mean, January, February, and early March is RSV season. Um, Halloween, Thanksgiving is not RSV season, but this year it is. Both medical professionals add during the height of the pandemic, they weren't seeing as many cases. And that may have been in part because of the COVID protocols that were in place. They were waiting to put their kids in daycare. They weren't traveling as much. There was a lot more masking. And the thing that's tricky about RSV is we can all get RSV. And in us, it's just a mild runny nose and cold. Bo Shane says RSV is most dangerous to children, especially infants under six months old. So what are the signs to look out for? The main problems that infants have with RSV is that their nasal passages can swell shut or they can have a hard time staying oxygenated or, or eating uh, for, that, for that same set of reasons. Um, when your nose is totally stuffed up and you try and breastfeed or bottle feed, um, you, you can't um, because your nose is, is, is swollen shut. If they are struggling to breathe, absolutely they should be seen and looked at. I, the one thing I would encourage all families is just, um, you know, avoid sick people. Um, don't get these little kids out, especially if they're under six months. Don't get them out if you don't have to. We're dealing with a lot of different viruses, and it, it looks like uh, that that will be the case for the foreseeable future. And, and the best thing we can really do is, is to try and just practice some of those uh, things about social distancing and hand hygiene. Um, as, as much as people are tolerant of doing. And St. Luke's also mentioned on today's call that they have had to send kids out of state over the last few weeks, but it was for a combination of reasons like a lack of beds, lack of staffing, or the complexity of the illness. And we also reached out to St. Al's. They said they too have seen an increase as well as Salter Health, but they say while they haven't seen a huge spike in RSV cases in their urgent cares, it is something that they're monitoring closely.